Hey everybody, on this video we're gonna see the first part of a three-part series where I'm gonna show you how you can bring your photos in life. So, let's start with the FCPX Photo Pan and Dolly. For those of you who are watching me for your first time, welcome, I'm Emilio Takas and I post videos here on tutorials, filmmaking tips, gear reviews and much more. So if you're into this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to my channel and also ring the notification bell, very important to receive notifications every time I post a new video. On this video we're gonna see how we can bring our photo in life, uh, the example that you saw in the beginning, using the plugin from Pixel Film Studios FCPX Photo Pan and Dolly. You will find a link for this plugin in the description of this video down below and you can use the coupon code EMILIOPIXEL and get 30% off your purchase. Let's go into Final Cut Pro 10 and see this plugin in action. We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface and I have already placed the image that we will work on today's tutorial. Now, the first thing that we need to do after we place the image and set the duration that we want the effect to take place, in this case we're around 5 seconds, we will go into Titles, Pixel Film Studios, FCPX, Photo Pan and Dolly and for this example we're gonna drag the one movement cut out and bring it above our photo. Now let me zoom in the timeline, I'm gonna drag the title layer into the length of the photo. So now the first step, what we want to do in the beginning is to go into the inspector panel on the right we are going to set this to set mask and we are going to make sure that the frame 1 controls are set to 0 and the frame 2 controls are also set to 0. Okay, so let's make them all to 0 because we will adjust all of these parameters at the end of the whole process when we are going to start making the composition of the movements. Now we will go into the beginning and we are going to start creating, drawing the mask. Now, keep in mind that you can adjust the mask points as soon as the process moves forward on the video. You can do a rough cut. As we see here, we have all, almost, you know, a very similar background of the photo and this is gonna make uh, the process a lot easier if you have photos like that. The only uh, difference is gonna be here where we have the subject so here we need to be more precise on the mask that we're gonna draw, okay? So let me just draw the mask like that and as I'm moving forward to the clouds I'm gonna make it more precise. to the leg and then again moving forward as I said give a little of uh, distance between your draw mask because you're gonna need it later on when we're gonna make the movements of the zoom etc we can also adjust as you can see after we draw the mask here wonderful now as soon as we finish with the mask we go here we select the active camera then we will go down, we will deselect the light controls and the shadows. Okay, so we don't have any shadows on that. And then we will go back in top in the mask controls and we're gonna set the softness to 200. Okay, or we can make it, let's say we're, we're blending with the background here. Okay, so 200, so let's, so 200 is a nice starting point. Now we will go our line of the playhead in the timeline towards the end. We will go into frame 2 controls and we will set the zoom amount to 32. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting from here and we're zooming in. Okay, then on the frame 2 controls, we can set a rotation of the X. Okay, as you can see here and we can go down into the cut out controls and drop it down so we match here okay the place okay wonderful we want to hide the background all right you will play with that to see the result that you want to achieve at the end okay so for example we can also change the rotation let's say we want to play with the rotation of the y as well you see that we can 
move it a little bit to the right, give another dimension, okay? Or we can change the X of the position, and also we can change the scale of it, okay? So as you can see here, we're going from here to here, let's go again to the beginning to see how we're gonna start, the starting point, frame one controls, okay? So we can change the position of it. We can change the position as you see from here, okay? Of the whole image. And also we can change the position of the cutout, okay? So we can set it from here. Add a keyframe to the right, okay? And go towards the end. Also, let me just, since we are in the beginning, add a keyframe on the size as well, okay, of the cutout, the, here where it says scale. And let's go here. We have the selected. We're going to change the scale as well a little bit. And we can also change the position of it. Okay, wonderful. On the camera controls also, we can go again to the beginning. As you can see, you have the options to change a lot of the settings and also to add keyframes. Okay, so you can go set a keyframe to the angle of view and let's say to the far focus, okay? And when you finish, you know, when you're making the movement toward the end, you can go, you can change the angle of view to bigger or smaller, okay? And you can change the far focus as well. Let's go again into the softness of the mask, change the softness radius as well, as you can see, because if I change the softness radius, the background of the light blue here is gonna be, you know, more blended into the background. And let's go again into the set mask let me just uh, zoom a little bit to 100% so I can bring the mask a little bit to the down so I don't have the leg disappeared. As you can see, this is a plugin where you can literally bring your photos in live and it might need a little bit of time just to get use of it, okay? But once you're getting used of it, I'm telling you that... <laughs> there is no limit to the things that you can do. Okay, let's go again into the active camera. As you can see, the leg is better now. And you can also activate the lighting effects, okay, that we disabled in the beginning. So the final result of what we did is looking like this. Okay, we can... We can be, you know, if you change, let's go again into the zoom amount and let's make the zoom amount 100 and go again into the scale. Okay, we can make the scale even bigger. So the result is gonna look like this. And we can also adjust the rotation. So we will go into the beginning of the layer we will go into the cutout controls. We're gonna add a keyframe to the X or the Y rotation here. And we can go to the ends, okay? Towards the end, basically. And we can change the rotation on both the X, you see that? And the Y, if we want, okay? So, check this out now. Remember that with this plugin, you have a lot of different options. Now we saw the one movement cut out. You can have also path tools and surface. So you can go from the point one to point two, as you can see here, or have different points. Point one going to point two, point three. You can also have panning tools. A lot of options that you can use and go, as I'm always telling you on my videos here, as much creative as you want.
I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today. Stay tuned because as I said in the beginning, this is the first part out of a three-part series. So two more videos are coming up and if you see that in the future, we will have the link of uh, the next two videos in the description of this video down below and also they will pop up here 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 like everywhere thanks so much to pixel film studios for supporting this channel and if you have any questions or you just want to say hi i'm waiting you in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching i'm emilio takas and i will see you in the next video yahara yeah,